Stewardship is everything. Okay, I just wanted to show you how we do our bracing. Put our, we use two by fours and we stand them up on our wall. And then we use these clips and uh, I made these. Um, you can buy factory bracing, uh, it costs several thousand dollars, but it does have a scaffolding and everything as a part of it. But uh, we'll take the truck to haul the bracing, I can haul all these that I need for a typical basement in uh, four or five gallon buckets. So the way it works is they're made just to go over the top of the two by four. We set them over the top of a screw strip and screw that down. Turn that around so you can see what I'm doing. And then for our strong backs, we just use another clip, stand that up like that, and screw that into our vertical bracing. And that's what, what it looks like when we're done. Obviously, everything's longer and standing up on the wall like that. I've been using these for seven or eight years and I've never had it move on me so it's very convenient and that's it we had gotten some snow and it started to melt and it made it too greasy for the trucks to get up on on the slope there it doesn't look like much from the video but uh, it's it's fairly significant so we took a couple inches of dirt off to get back down to some dry ground so that the truck could get in and also the mixer trucks when they come later. You'll notice here that the top couple of courses or blocks are glued together. We uh, don't glue the bottom ones, just the tops. And then we also drill a hole in the bottom of our window bucks. That's so uh, it's big enough that we can get a stinger in there if we need to consolidate the concrete to make sure it is completely underneath the window buck. You also want your uh, pump truck to show up at least a half hour ahead of time so that he can get backed in and get his uh, outriggers out and unfolded and ready for the mixer truck when they show up. It's not good to have the mixer truck sitting there waiting for the pump truck to get ready to go. You'll notice our window bucks are have scabs all the way around them to reinforce that. And when we start to pump, we'll put a bracing in between there so that that doesn't collapse on us. This is the finished bracing. We have turnbuckles on every one of them, two by fours that comes down. And the way that we get around in there is uh, my guys will move the scaffolding in a leapfrog fashion. And that will enable me to walk from one side to the other. So it was a good idea to have a conversation with your pump truck operator so you kind of have a plan of attack and nobody has any surprises. Notice on the end wall here that pocket that's for the beams to set down in when the house is moved into place and lowered and then those beams will be pulled out through that pocket. We always like to start pumping in a corner and we do it in two lifts. 
we come halfway up on the first go around and then we come back and fill it to the top. When you come to your window openings, you want to make sure that you bring that concrete up evenly on both sides. Concrete has a tremendous amount of pressure. If you were to bring it all the way up on one side, um, it has the possibility of moving that to uh, one direction or the other. Here you'll notice my guys leapfrogging my scaffolding so that when I finish up I can just step over it onto the other and then they just uh, grab the other one and move it on ahead. A good pump truck operator is irreplaceable. They can uh, make things go very smoothly or they can cause you all kinds of headaches. And uh, this one does an excellent job. That's also true of the mixer truck operator. We have uh, had times when we poured our basements directly out of the chute, but you uh, can't uh, replace a good pump truck. In a second here you're going to hear a horn in the background and that indicates that the mixer truck is empty and the pumper will settle that hose down inside the wall so it doesn't dump concrete on the inside or the outside. Thank you for joining us on Foundation Homestead. Punch that like button, we'd love to have you back. Thank you so much for watching.